Hi, I'm Tom Douglas, and this is another one of a series of recipes for celebrating how do you rub with love, our rub with love spice rub line. Today we're going to work with the roast rub. It's a, probably our biggest grind on the rubs, you know, lots of whole spices, uh, this and that. If that's, um, it's kind of a take on the Montreal steak as far as uh, the intention behind it, and I love that whole spice. And when they get cooked, they get crunchy uh, and delicious. Sometimes I'll take this uh, and grind it all up with some salt and make a little roast rub finishing salt. So you can use it any way you choose. I've got a meat hammer here. I'm going to put my uh, cast iron pan on the fire. Uh, this is what we call a cowboy steak. Now, typically, if you see them at a big fancy steakhouse restaurant, the bone is left on all the way out here. It's the same steak. You're just paying for more bone. It looks awesome. I get it. Uh, but uh, feel free to get whichever one you want. So I like to take the steak down to about the thickness of the bone itself. Right? So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a pound. Now I'm going to take my roast rub and be generous. I'm going to put it right on the outside of my steak. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Don't be afraid. Go ahead and give it a nice little, nice little bit of rub. I put bacon fat in my pan. Um, I love bacon fat. It adds smokiness and a sweetness. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be sautéing in. Turn that up a little bit. I turned it up, but I don't want to go crazy. The thing about our rubs is that they're fragrant, right? They're beautifully fragrant. If you, This is not a blackening spice. That's a more New Orleans Cajun-style thing. We made uh, fragrance uh, rubs so that we want them toasty and golden brown, but not blackened. The other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to have my oven on at about 350 degrees. And I'm going to give my steak a nice sear, but then I'm going to bake it until it's ready. Uh, it won't take very long, maybe 8 minutes or 10 minutes. We want to take it to, if uh, you're looking for a medium rare, let's take it to about 115. Because then when it comes out of the oven, we're going to let it rest for another 10 minutes. And it'll go up to 120, 125. Okay, so there's our golden brown. That's, that's the color you want to take it to. You can see my spices kind of popping, and, and we're going to pop it right into the oven. So in the oven already, I have my baked potatoes. They're going to be ready to go right when that steak is ready. I'm going to put some butter and chives when we serve it all up here. All right, our steak is done, ready to come on out of there. A little trick that I do is I always rest my steak. You can see how beautifully golden brown that is. I always rest my steak. You know, you always, uh, you always want to rest your meat on a cookie rack or something. If you put it right on a pan like this, it'll steam between the meat and the pan. So I, I make sure there's a little air between the pan and the steak. Let's work on our potatoes. Got a couple of bakers here for me. I love a good baked potato, I, but I like them just pretty plain. Butter and chives is it for me, and a lot of it. Okay, and then we have some beautiful chives from our Prosser farm. Make the whole thing look nice. Make it rain chives. Okay, a little salt, a little coarse ground pepper. Those are ready to go. Okay, remember I told you that on our steak, it's a steak for two. So we're going to take our bone. And I cooked it rare. We're going to take our bone, put that out like that. And then I, this is called the cap of a rib steak. And uh, so I want a little bit of the cap with the center of the steak. If I cut it this way, I end up with the, all the cap in the one side of the steak. So instead, I'm going to cut it this way. You feel like you want a little more juice? Go ahead and grab some of the crunchy juice from the pan. That's got the crunchy spice rub in it, a little bit of the bacon fat. Um, not one thing in there that's not delicious. All right, that's our roast rub, our, our spicy cowboy steak here from the land of rub with love. How about that?